Good morning, all our friends. Today's Friday, and we're going to have a Zoom meeting followed by a graduation practice. For the Zoom meeting, you're going to want to bring a picture or you're going to want to share um, a place in the United States that was your favorite place to visit. Um, so have that ready. And today for the circle, I'm going to show you the parts of a butterfly. We've learned about the parts of the bee, but since it's spring, I wanted to show you the parts of the butterfly too. Okay, before I get into the lesson, I wanted to do the calendar, the weather, and sing our good morning song. So let's take out our calendars that we made and start with the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and let's begin again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, what comes after Thursday? Friday. Okay, we're going to count to number 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And today is 22. Today is Friday, May 22, 2020. Okay, so you want to take out your calendar and you're going to want to write May 22. May 2 2. Okay, let's sing the weather song. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather, all our friends? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? Okay, out my window in Livermore, the sun is shining, there are no clouds in the sky, and the wind is not blowing. So it's going to be a hot day today in the Valley of California. So I drew a sun and a clear sky in my picture for today. So you're going to want to color what you see in your picture uh, when you look out the window. Okay, let's do the good morning song. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all our friends. We love you, we miss you, please sit down, let's begin. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all our friends. We love you, we miss you, please sit down, let's begin. Great. So this activity, the parts of a butterfly, is something that I made from materials online called the Montessori Helper. We don't have these three-part cards in the classroom, but I think after I present them, I'm going to add them to the classroom if possible. Okay, so parts of a butterfly. We've talked about parts of a bee. Bees and butterflies are both pollinators, and they're both insects, so there's going to be some similarities in the parts of a butterfly. So let me take the first card out. Parts of a butterfly. This is the whole butterfly. Next are the wings. The eye. Proboscis. Remember the bumblebee and the honeybee also had a proboscis? It's like the tongue of a butterfly. It collects the nectar from flowers for them to eat. Antenna. Butterflies have two antenna. The head. Okay, this is the body. The body has two segments and then the head. So the head is included and then there's two segments that I'll talk about. But this is the body. Okay, the first segment after the head is the upper part of the butterfly, which is the thorax.
and the lower segment is the abdomen. And the last part of a butterfly are the legs. Butterflies are an insect, so they have six legs or three sets of legs. Three pairs of legs or six legs total. Okay, now I'm going to match the picture only cards with your help. This is the whole butterfly. the eye, the wings, the antenna, the proboscis, which is the, like the tongue, the butterfly, that drinks, the six legs, The head, this is the upper segment of the body, which is the thorax. The body and the lower body segment, the abdomen. Okay, now let's match the words. Parts of a butterfly. Legs. Antenna. The head, the wings, the thorax, remember the thorax is the upper part of the body, it's the first, the upper segment. Abdomen is the lower segment of the body. This is body. This is a long word, proboscis. Remember the proboscis is like the butterfly's tongue. But honeybees and bees have proboscis too. The last one is the I. Okay, that's the part of a butterfly. We have the whole butterfly, the wings, the eye, the proboscis, antenna, head, body, thorax, abdomen, and legs. Okay, now I'm going to clean up my activity and I'm going to show you an art project that you can do. For the at-home activities, you can recreate the art project. It's a symmetry art project. And then there's also two worksheets for you to work through that has labeling the parts of a butterfly and coloring the butterfly, okay? Put the labels away, and then I'll show you each part one more time before I put it aside. There are 10 parts of the butterfly for this activity. So this is the whole butterfly. The, the wings, the eye, the proboscis, the antenna, the head, the body. Remember, the body has segments or sections, the first is the thorax, the upper section, then the abdomen, which is the lower section, and then the butterfly is an insect with six legs. 
Okay. Now I'm going to put these three part cards away in the classroom so that we can have the work available. And then I'm going to roll my rug because the art project has to do with paint and I don't want to get my rug dirty, okay? So for this art activity, you're going to need crayons or color pencils, paint. If you have um, no paint, you can always just use coloring crayons um, or watercolor paints. It might not show up as dark and bright, but you can try. Okay, so this is a symmetry art project. The butterfly, if you were to take the butterfly in half and just look at one side, the wings should match from one side to the other. Butterflies are pretty symmetrical, which means they're about the same on either side. So we're going to fold our paper in half, like the two sides of our butterfly. Okay, then we're going to, on the line that we folded, we're going to draw with crayons or color pencils our head and our body. Remember the body has two segments. So we have to do my head first, the top, the fold. And then I'm going to do my thorax, which is the upper part of the, the body. And then the longer abdomen, which is the lower segment of the body. Okay, so see how I drew my three segments on the line? Now I'm going to draw my eyes my antenna, and my proboscis. Okay, eyes, and I'll do the proboscis, like a little curled up tongue. I'll do my antenna a different color. I'll do my antenna. Great. Okay, so I have my eyes, and my proboscis, and my two antenna, and now I'm going to draw my six legs. We're probably not going to see them underneath the paint, but let's just try. So there's three legs on each side, six legs total. So I'm going to do one, two, three, one, two, three, and that means all together we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Whatever you do on one side, you want to do on the other side. See my legs? Okay. Now I'm ready for my paint. I'm going to put it on my clipboard and I'm going to open up my paint. Okay, so you're just going to do a few drops on one side of your paper and then I'll show you a trick. So I'm doing two different colors. I'll do. Okay. All right. Awesome. So I'm going to very carefully show you. I just did dots on one side of my paper, right? Now, the magic of symmetry. Do you see my fold? I'm going to fold my paper again. And I'm going to press down so that the paint makes a print on the other side of the paper. Okay, so let's hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then when I open, I should have wings on both sides, even though I only put paint on one side. Let's see. <gasps> Look at my beautiful butterfly with the spotted wings. And you can kind of see the body there too. Okay, and when this dries, I can always label my butterfly. Okay, so remember to do 
the two worksheets where you label the parts of the butterfly. The names are already written, so you can just um, rewrite them or put them in the box. And then you can color the butterflies too. And then if you decide to do this symmetry art project, when it dries, you can also write and label your parts of your butterfly. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed learning about parts of the butterfly. And remember to bring your sharing for the Zoom meeting. Bye, friends. I miss you.